Hi everyone, this is Ryan here of Ryan Ed of Photography. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please give my channel a like and subscribe to the channel so I could create more content like this for you guys. I, I love sharing, um, breaking down images and sharing what I know to you guys. As you know, I am a active wedding photography studio here in Philadelphia and by request um, of these images that I posted at the MagMod community channel and the SLR lounge, um, I'm gonna break these images down and tell you guys all about how I photograph it. All right, so on to the images. So this is the first image that uh, I had uh, a request on as far as the breakdown. So you can see our subjects here. Uh, wonderfully posed, like an intimate shot. I wanted something more um, like moody with the feel of the bar. And you can see the 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 colors here uh, reflects the, the the scene, right? So so for here i use two lights so as you can see that there's a um, there's light coming from this side like the rim that she's showing off her curves so the light was positioned a little bit out of frame here so one light here and the main light coming from the left side here as you can see from the shadows on her nose and this shadow here so that's one way you can tell light direction. So, and I aimed it just enough that it's not hitting the floor. As you can see, the light kind of cuts off here. There's still some like, you can see, still see some detail, but you can see this is where the light kind of like cut. Because um, I wanted it to be more focused on them. So let me go to the whiteboard and take you to the settings of this image so as you can see so let's say this is the bar right and this is where my subject is couple so the main light was here on a mag box so I'm just gonna try to draw a mag box as best I can on the light stand. It's actually aimed um, high and low, like 45 degrees pointing down. It's actually, you know what? So let me undo, can I undo it? Or just erase it? Wow. I need a bigger eraser than that. So I'm gonna just erase it and then redraw it again. Just so um, it'll be much better for you guys. Whoops. Okay. So in so mag box pointing down. There we go. And then there's the flash inside. Um, AD two hundred is the flash that I was using. And so this has a focus diffuser on it. So mag box. On a light stand, aiming down. And the important thing to note is I put a ND filter on it. I think it's ND8. And whatever is the max ND, that's what I put on there because when i when you expose for a dimly lit scene you would have to raise the iso a little bit lower the shutter speed so you could reveal some of the the details in the surroundings but the ad200 i think it's a 200 watt flash which is super strong that even in the lowest setting it'll still drown out the, the scene with light 
so I had to put an ND um, over it so it would uh, tone it down, tone down the power. So this is the main light, main light. And then for the second accent light, so accent, some people call the hair light. I think it's just about the same. So it was out of frame here, another AD200. on a light stand, very small light stand. Uh, it had a mag grid on it and a one fourth CTO. So the CTO is color temperature orange. So it gives it a warm color to it that matched the, the lamps and, the, and the, the lamps in the scene and then the bar um, lights. If we go back to this image, right? So these lights here, so they have a warm tone to it. So the CTO is like a little bit. Um, it was done to match the the colors, right? So subject here, uh, light one here, light two over here, and then this is me. with a i guess with my camera here <laughs> i guess holding the camera and as far as my settings for uh this image let's go and find the exif data for this So I was on a 35, 35 1.4 lens. So I was shooting with a, a 5D Mark IV Canon. So 35 1.4 lens, 35 mm. So I was at at 1.4, 1 1.4. So 1 one twenty fifth of a second and ISO 500. Oops. So ISO 500, 1 one twenty fifth, uh, 1 1.4, 35, 1 1.4. So I, I wanted to get a little, uh, the whole scene, like the bar. So that was the breakdown of that image. As far as the posing, I just wanted it to have like a, a really romantic, like serene feel um, in that bar. So, and then executed it really, really great. Guys, as far as behind the scenes of this image, see, you, you can see here, that's the flash. I don't know if you could, you could see it. Yeah, but you can see it. It's a, uh, it's the, it's the flash with the grid and CTO gel, and then the main light was like over here. So this is the same setup. It's just, you know, of course the pose was like, you know, different. I just made them switch the pose, and I still have the seventy two hundred here. But by the time I switched to the thirty five, that's when I got to that shot so here you go this is the behind the scenes for that image and we shall move on to the next image which is this one over here so a little summary to it this was a another location within the hotel so the hotel that we were shooting is was the Beekman Hotel in New York City. So B-E-E-K-M-A-N, super cool hotel. Uh, so they had this un separate bar. So that was a main, the main bar, I think like called the library or something. And then there was this other bar that was called the Den or something. It had a peculiar name to it. Somebody correct me if you're from New York and you know what I'm talking about. So this bar was like a little bit like on the lower floor, kind of like the basement. 
that's why it had the low ceilings and all the tubing but it had potential when we walked in they had to turn the lights on because like you know <laughs> it wasn't used at that time so when i started the photo the 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 series of photos i had them sitting here right and towards the end i wanted to create uh something of variety that had you know a different look and feel to it so since the bride had a really nice dress so we want to show off her curves here and then the groom as like some just really cool pose you know and i saw this ottoman it was actually over here and you know what let me actually let's let's use it so i brought it here i slid it here in the center and i instructed her what my vision was and it was it it came out really good so we able to show off the ring here and then uh the the curves the lines worked out um really well for this image so to the drawing board we go so let's draw the bar right so the bar is like a curve with all the seating here right you see the seats and then we had our groom sitting over here and then we had our bride and the ottoman so she had her kind of a like a mermaid pose right and as you know i was shooting from here so there was a there was a couch here and i was basically went behind it and then just stood i was standing so i was like able to shoot over it and so we we had the um uh, i i i i drew it the wrong way all right so here's the the mag box again mag box as the main light i'll just draw main mag box with the 8200 in here still with the nd filter and the eight um nd8 or nd10 i don't know whatever if you get the mag mag mod kit whatever the max nd that's what i put on there and the focus diffuser on the on the front it didn't really matter i should have used the cloth one so because the focus diffuser adds a little bit more i guess pop to the what you call it to the output the light output and shameless plug if you guys want to get a good discount on the magmod gear i do have a coupon code which i will show here so if you go to the magmod website use this promo code for me you will get a five percent off discount all right <laughs> i just wanted to um share that okay back to the image so main light here and then if you walk up here there's a like a stage like a higher uh another lounge area so it was it was a good location that i thought mm, this is where i put the second light so in terms of the setup it's almost the same oh that's it's a light stand not a person okay and it's still the grid so the ad 200 another ad 200 with a grid magmod grid and a cto one four gel it's just to um blend in with the warmth of like those tungsten lights in here so it was pointing like towards them right here so that's the so that's the setup and then as far as the settings so we have so i'm still on a 5d mark four 5d mark four i'm on a 30 oh 35 mm lens <laughs> 30 mm so 35 millimeter 
So I had uh, one two hundred of a second. This one at aperture was one point four millimeters, and then ISO eight hundred. And so that was so that was the EXIF data, and then. As far as the pose, like I told you, I wanted to um, give it a little variety as opposed to just like being all um, like together all the time, like uh, facing each other all the time. So I wanted to create a regal, elegant look. So when when he had when I had her pose like a mermaid, <laughs> um, I made sure it was able to feature her dress and the curves and I positioned the main light to uh, always, always be mindful of the light has to be the most flattering for the bride. As far as the groom, they could handle like, con like, uh, like contrast, contrasty lighting a little bit, like a split lighting. That's fine for guys. As you can see, how the lighting was it's like a split light here so the the accent light was a little bit out of frame but you could see it was like hitting here and hitting some of her um giving that like little separation and then the main light here as you can see from the shadow of, of her nose and coming down, you can see the shadows here on the ground. That's telling you where the main light um, direction is. And as far as as far as the behind the scenes for it, I can show you. I can show you some images that my assistant took. So I have a 7200 here, but I actually, by the time I took that photo, because this was the initial setup, right? I was telling you I had them on the chairs, but let's see, I think I could find an image that had, you could see, okay, here, see that? So that is the accent light up on that um, upper level that was aimed towards their um, hair to accent. And this is a video tripod, I think, but right um, next to the, cause I had the video person here, my video team with me. So right beside him was where the mag box was. And you could see this is the chairs I was telling you. I was like, this is even a table. I'm shooting over it. Let's see. Uh, you can't see the... Yeah, but this is the behind the scenes that um, I had. And then the ottoman was here. And then by the time we switched to that pose, we moved it here. I moved it here in the center because I wanted to use it. And for our last image, which is this one. So just a little, I guess, preview to this image, right? So I photographed an image before this, which was from the top down. Like we were up here and then they were here on the bottom, which was, let's see. Let me just show you guys. So I was shooting from a high here. They were on the bottom floor, right? So this is what the image that, where's that image? So this was the image that came out of it, right? So you, you notice they have a red and black outfit and they wanted to change to their next outfit. So I said, okay, we got the shot go ahead and change and once you guys are ready meet me on the second floor which was this floor 
so right uh the next floor up and then i was down here right so that's where as far as um where i was right okay so when they were done they were um changed and then i went so i was here looking up i saw the symmetry that shot that i wanted and then i had them positioned here so bef but even before they got there so let's say this is the that that second floor right the square it's a uh uneven square but <laughs> whatever so i'm here on the bottom looking up with my camera and then they so they were here right but before they got there i had my assistant on the on the same floor as them but on the opposite side so he was just hand holding the flash the ad200 this time with a mag beam mag beam so if you guys don't know the mag mag beam is a fernell style um lens modifier like attachment it goes to the front i actually made a video about it if you just look through my channel here you'll find it and you can uh get it from the mag mod site and use my discount code to get a discount so it's on the mag mod site you could see it used for like wildlife if they want to pop a little bit of light from a far away distance so the job of it as a fernell style is to like like a spotlight kind of thing so it's a very narrow controlled lighting so i just want the light to hit like just like sort of like like do just like illuminate them for not like not like illuminate the um you know that whole area just to keep the to keep the the scene more um like dramatic in a, in a sense so as far as the to exaggerate the the architecture to emphasize all of it so i use um i saw still a 5d mark 4 and i use my 11 to 24 lens at i think i was at the widest 11 millimeters and one one hundred of a second f4 ISO 1600 so that's those were my settings and as far as the pose I wanted them to be seen a little bit more so I made sure that the bride and groom they were kind of leaning over the rail just so because I was looking up so I need to be able to see them a little bit more and then you know they did their thing and yeah i saw that um opportunity with the architecture and it was so so nice that it came out with the skylight and then so that's it for that image so those are all the images that you guys um requested so from the uh the post to be broken down and explain kind of my thought my idea in terms of um how i went about it so of course i played with the symmetry here see see these three arches make sure they're in the middle so if you guys learned something and enjoyed this breakdown please give my channel uh subscribe and like the video i'm still a growing channel so i would love to do more breakdowns like this for you guys and just share the things that i know so thank you so much again this is ryan of ryan ed of photography i'll talk to you guys soon see you on the next one and
have a great one.